Okay, so I'm bundled up to tackle on this minus 35, minus 40 degree weather. I have my snowboarding jacket on, all my winter accessories, but I'm not gonna lie. All I wanna do is run back into a warm truck to get some heat. Canada Post carriers, unfortunately, don't have that option. So how are they dealing with this frigid, frigid temperatures? According to Debbie McKellum, there are a few tricks up her sleeve. For the past three and a half years, Deb McCullum has been braving old man winter and his frigid wrath. So the recent weather we've been experiencing isn't anything new. Hopefulness that these gloves make the work hard. <laughs> Actually, my very first winter was in a brutally cold, during a br brutally cold long snap. So I learned very quickly how to dress for that. With clothing being the first line of defense, Deb has come up with a well-executed plan. It's actually a science. It's very tricky because you don't want to sweat, but you want to be warm enough. Uh, the key is to keep moving. And today what I have is uh, Mountain Equipment Co-op is very good because I like to buy their pants that are windproof. Mm -hmm. They don't stay wet if they do get wet. So all I need is that and a pair of long johns. And then for my tire on my upper body, again, it's moisture wicking type of material. With half a route on the agenda for today, Deb is focusing on staying active. Although she has a bit of shelter via her Canada Post van, the walk to and from houses is necessary to keep the blood flowing. All it takes is a one minute stop and you start cooling off very quickly. Um, so right actually in my hands, because my fingers tend to get very cold, yeah. I have a pair of very thin liner gloves, a pair of uh, wool gloves, and then um, these I bought at Track and Trail, mm. and they keep the wind out. This is not warm enough for me. <laughs> My fingertips freeze. I have two as well. What about Secret Arsenal? Something that I like to use, and I'm sure Jason, the camera guy, can get it. Yes. When I'm out in extreme cold weathers, is these hot pads. Yes. I know we have uh, some on us right now. Are you a fan? Do you use these often just I for do. that extra burst of heat? I do. In fact, I buy mine, and they're even smaller than that, so really? I can slide them into my gloves and keep my fingers warm. When it comes to footwear, a supportive boot is key, but having an extra set of socks handy is even more important. Because while working inside the depot for two or three hours, however long it takes, mm -hmm. your feet tend to get very warm and sweat. So if you go outside with that, <laughs> they, they get cold. So then I will change into my low, uh, wool socks. Because of what you do and the dedication of how you do it, I actually wanted to say thanks. If I can pick it up here. I grabbed some hot chocolate from home today and I wanted to share with you some of that. So how about we open that up and I have a cup here as well. And we will cheers to the great work you do because I'm assuming we can add this into one of the other strategies of staying warm. Okay, just staying warm. Thank yes, you to you to and all warm. your colleagues. <laughs> Thank Cheers. you very much. Cheers. Oh, that feels nice. Oh, that's nice, yes. Mm.